On this deserted Pacific island, a hundred thousand pounds is waiting to be discovered. Over five weeks, Drop it! Here! bundles of cash will be dropped across this brutal paradise. We've hit the jackpot. Come on! Oh my god. In the face of adversity. Cat, hold on. No, no, Jack! 12 ordinary Brits must survive long enough to find and keep the money. I need to take as much as I can from this island. If you leave early, you leave with nothing. Welcome to the jungle. Is it going down? Yeah. The group's water source was running dangerously low. Sweet. So they were forced to move camp to the north side of the island. Home sweet home. I can't tell you how happy I am to see that. Oh, my days. The islanders are still unaware that Marco and Ivor have discovered £35,000. I feel really naughty. Uh, what's that? Uh, oh, my God. And that while out hunting, Emily and Alyssa have spotted a box of money. I'm going to tell Kat. No, she wouldn't be able to keep it to herself. She, she's so open and honest, she would go back and tell everybody. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Keep it quiet. Don't tell anyone. I'm not going to feel guilty about taking my money home. I'm just not. We're all so hungry now, honestly. I'm feeling so weedy. And I'm feeling hangry. Hell hath no fury like a morag hangry. I'd pay £150 for 20 chicken nuggets, Whoa. curry sauce, large chips, and a chicken legend. I could eat a scabby horse. I feel a bit weak, man. We've had no food for how long now? Uh, five days. Five days. Since arriving, the islanders have been surviving mainly on rations of coconuts and winkles. We've been having, eating just little snails, and they're like one calorie each, and we get for about maybe 25 if you can be bothered to pick them out. You've probably burnt 10 opening them all, and that's it for the day. That's it. Everyone's starving. Has everyone got a full water bottle on them? Yep. Let's go. With the need for food critical, Plumber Jack leads a hunting party into the jungle. We'll keep our eyes pinned for everything and uh, hopefully we won't be coming back empty-handed. I've ensured that there's enough wildlife, resources and fishing equipment on the island to keep the group alive throughout, but only if they have the ingenuity to find it. It's about time we, have, we get a big dinner, Danos. Look there, drop-ins. For what? Go. So it's shut itself. Oh, wait there, it's very fresh. Is it? No. Bit small, isn't it? Wait, are you sh Is he eating no poo? Yeah, no. it is, it's got droppings, mate. Stop eating the goat poo, Ben. It's actually surprisingly tasty when you haven't eaten much over the last 12 days. Goat droppings. I'm just hungry. God's sake. Spread out a bit, but not too much. Keep an eye out, Irene, yeah? I'll keep an eye out. It's the first time the two oldest islanders, 58-year-old Morag and 75-year-old Irene, have ventured deep into the jungle. I don't want to wander too far away, Morag. No. <gasps> Listen to my stomach rumble and starve. Shh. But I can hear a noise up here. Hang on, shush. Where's that coming from? I heard it, I heard it. It's that way. You sure? What's that? Where is he? Oh, my God. I thought I could hear a goat. Meh. Why'd you do that? Because we're trying to call them. We're trying to get them to come out. Come on. Meh. Fuck. 
fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I love these two. They're hilarious. Come on, let's go back. Any luck? We saw nothing. No vegetable, animal, mineral, nothing. Returning to the camp empty-handed. No goat, no soup. So starvation tonight. The exhausted islanders take shelter from the midday sun. God, we're just useless. We'll get there in the end. Where do you get all this kind of steely resolve that you have? God, I have no idea. Do you think it's because of your sort of heritage? I mean, the Mount Battens, that's battles and wars. Yeah. No, I agree. Down to it's got, you. It's got a, a lot to live up to. Yeah. That's probably one of the reasons why I'm here, to prove that I can do it. Yeah. And also, from the sexuality point of view, I'd like to show people that we're not all queens. And you, you know, can be real kind of yeah. alpha males. Alpha males. Yeah. And there are a lot out there. Ivor has been an absolute lifeline to me. He's got a great sense of humour. And I long for somebody else middle-aged to have a conversation with. My family history is my grandpa played uh, for Aston Villa and he was the most sent-off player in Aston Villa. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. I think that's not a bad little... Yeah, absolutely. Right, Liz, are you off for this, are you? I'm fucking up for it. How long are we going for? Overnight, at least. After the failed goat hunt, former Marine Marco is leading an expedition to the south of the island in search of food. So, Jimmy, what do you think about our little expedition? You think we're nuts? That's rich coming from you, mate. <laughs> the hunt continues. You think we should have a lease about the money? Nothing. She's not going to be fussed about it, is she? Can do. When we get to our next bay, where we found it. Yeah. Now listen, we've got something to tell you. Mark and I have found a lot of money. Dum, dum, dum! Have you really? Yeah. yeah. I've also found money. Ah! <laughs> Have you really? <laughs> yes. Good for you. <laughs> well <done. laughs> Seriously? Yeah. You were on your own? No, I wasn't on my own. You were with uh, Emily? Yes. Are you two splitting it? Yes. And Kat was here, and I was like, just fucking ignore it and yeah. run. But don't you got to keep that to yourself. Obviously, yeah, no, no, yeah. of course. Yeah. We would have put her in on it, but she was like, I want to share, I want to share, I want to take it back to the team. So we were like, yeah. got to cut her out. Well, that's good, because then you can't complain about us not giving you any. What day did you find it? You're going to hate this. <laughs> no, like... <laughs> yeah. Remember when you pop your knee out? Yeah. We turned the corner. Oh, we turned oh. the corner, it was right yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, then you fucking owe me well, that's a bit. Okay. You did the same to Kat. Fucking hell, you're you outrageous. Did the same to Kat. Yeah. <laughs> I come from a world of unscrupulous tabloid journalists where it's commonplace to screw over your friend, your colleague, to get the story. So that's why it wasn't that shocking to me when I found out what Ivor and Marco did. It's dog eat dog in my world. We will definitely not tell anybody that you've found money. It hasn't been a problem keeping it a secret because yeah. no one's been talking about it. I always said if someone asked me up front, I'll tell them. I didn't come here to share anything. I came here to provide for my family. I promised my mom just before I came here that I would provide them with a car just for doing this. And I, I fully intend on, on doing that. I guarantee you the others won't have found anything. If they find anything, it will just be sheer luck. I'm certainly not into group share. And I think just sharing everything makes people lazy because there are more able people than others. I'm certainly a capitalist at heart and I don't believe in the communist regime in any way, shape or form. God, I feel like we're as thick as thieves right. now. <laughs> <laughs> we're just down the corner, so we won't be that long. I thought Mum and Dad have gone out. Quick! Free house! Free house! While Morag and Irene head out on their daily winkle run, nurses Emily and Kat stay in camp to tend to the fire. 
Have you done any of the dating apps? Yep, loads. Have you? Well, no, no, no. The dating apps are not my generation, so the only time we ever heard about dating apps was when you were getting raped, murdered, put in a suitcase and thrown in the Thames. Shut up. This generation now is kind of like your odd few meet normally. I met my girlfriend IRL in real, in real life. Where'd you meet her? Friend of a friend or? Like, literally just out and about. We went for, I went for drinks and saw her there, chatted her up. Oh, my God, you chatted her up? Chatted her up. Like, don't get numbers anymore. Get Instagram now. You don't have Insta, do you? No. I am a nurse by day and a nurse by night, because <laughs> obviously we do night shifts. It's rewarding, it's fulfilling. I've been with my girlfriend for literally a year, like last week. So, happy anniversary. Currently, I'm living in a council flat. I'm just paying rent. I would love to be able to buy it because that's probably my only opportunity to get on the property ladder. But if you came into nursing to get rich, then you'll be bitterly disappointed, I think. Oh, I'm an itchy bitch today. Your lip looks, I'm not gonna lie, it looks like it's infected. What do I do then? Let, the, let it scab over? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then it goes tight. What do you mean? What? So you, every time it scams, you're going to rip it off? Yeah. No, Emily, no. That's what I've been doing. For God's sake, don't pick scabs. Do you, is you, your mum never teach you not to pick scabs? Yeah, but it That's just feels so good. Do you always pick scabs if you get always, a scab? Always, always. Oh, right. Well, it's all coming out now. You should have told me this. This should be in your past medical history. <laughs> Look at the size of that one. With no food in camp, Irene and Morag are back collecting winkles and limpets for the pot. There's some big ones here, Morag. <sighs> oh, God, yeah. I certainly know that I'm the weakest member of this team. Um, and I don't like that. That's never been my position. When you get to this age, people can't underestimate you. They're in for a shot because I can still surprise people. Is that a good spot? Yeah, more jam. <laughs> my job is looking after my grandchildren. We do lots of crafts, lots of baking, and making jam. At 75 years of age, it'd be nice to come back with a lump sum of money that I haven't had to work for. First of all, I go on a shopping trip to Harrods. I'd love that, absolutely. I'd go wild. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I've just been thinking about that money. If I leave the island with no money, I'll probably feel very disappointed. Do you know what? I, I just keep feeling that, you know, maybe they found it and they're not sharing. And maybe, because we haven't questioned them. What we should do when they get back yeah. is absolutely grill them, because we haven't been yes. doing that. No. Let's get our interrogation heads on. We'll interrogate them. Ah, uh, you are wild. It's on the other side of the coast, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, we're going to get a raid today, guys. Jack is leading a hunting party to the south of the island in the hope that the ocean will provide the islanders some much needed sustenance. Turning is like a wild animal. I need to catch some dinner. I need to go out and I need to get a big kill. I need to get a stingray. That should keep us going for another few days. When we see a ray, we just need to keep patient and we need it to be shallow. Yeah. Hey, up, Jack. It's coming towards me. Let it swim towards you. Patient. Jack! Come on! Come on, sir! Get it, stop, stop it! it. Get stop it. it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Come on! Come on! Oh, where oh. is he? No! Drag him in, drag him in. Move, move, guys, move, move. Everyone move. Get him! Oh, 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 my God! 
Oh, my God, that's too much. Come on! Yes! Come on! Well done. Hey, I don't believe it. You know, I'm gutted we haven't even found anything to eat. I don't think there's anything else out there. After a fruitless hunting trip around the island... Home sweet home. Marco, Ivor and Alyssa return to camp. That was hard, very hard. Found nothing. Found nothing. Yeah, nothing. No food? No, no, no. Water source? No. no. Money? No money. money. No, no nothing. Money. Nothing, man. So where is it all? I don't know. I felt a little bit disappointed because there was no news. Ivor said that they've circled the island twice now. To what end? I don't know. But I'm just beginning to feel there's a pattern going on here somewhere. We all want a good feed. I mean, the amount of food now is just unbelievable. Mo and Irene got winkles. I had my six. So how do I feel? Sleepy, hungry, tired. Sounds like the Seven Dwarfs. Having not eaten a proper meal in over two weeks... Do you know what you're doing? Yeah. ..the Stingray will provide the islanders with a crucial calorie and protein boost. Just small little chunks. Ah, uh, small little chunks. Oh, my God, Cap. You did good. Ivor and Marco are meant to be the big boys, the ones that know what they're doing, you know, and they have brought nothing. I mean that, nothing to the table. OK, everyone get their own plates. Oh. That's like sort of rump steak that melts in your mouth. It's very good. Oh, my God. I think today's the best day we've had so far. Totally. Money can't buy this. Have you heard any stories from either Marco or Alyssa? They phoned nothing. And they said they didn't phone me any money to. Do you believe them? Marco, I just yeah. want to ask you one Separate question. The, uh, Have you found uh, any money at all? At all? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell! Really? Yeah. OK, everyone, I've got an announcement to make. Marco's just been brutally honest. I asked him a question. I just said, Marco, have you found any money? And he has. I have, yeah. Be between me and Ivor, we found 35. Flipping flops. Wow. Good for you. What's that, three grand each? <laughs> Guys, no stingray for you. Ten grand each. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no way you're sharing it with us? No. I'm not a happy fellow at all, I'm just jealous, deep down. I'm going to be honest, I am. Oh, fucked off. Well, who would have thought 35 grand and they didn't tell me a thing? Two cheeky, slimy little bastards, huh? I'm having to push down this slightly childish feeling of, you know, it's our grub, you know, why should we share it with you? So, obviously, now that it's all come out, really, about the money, I just don't really know what I'm going to do. And I guess we'll just have to see how things go. Jack? Come here, sir. Fair play to them for finding it, but 
I don't want anyone to walk off this island with nothing. Yeah, absolutely. I want to look after Irene, I want to look after more. I want to look after people less able in this, in this yeah. group, do you know what I mean? I'm happy some money's been found, but it has instigated us to actually go out and try and find some money. At the very least, whether it comes to me or someone else, I'd like Irene to take a kind of kids to London, yeah. do you know what I mean? Me and Ben, you know, we're out here to share our money. You know, that's how we are. There's people like Irene out here, Mo, who can't graft how we're grafting. I just want to help them out. Wow, look at all these shells. Having hidden their money from the others, Emily and Alyssa are scouring the beach for souvenirs. Oh my God, this is amazing. My little girl's gonna love these. There's just so many things around here that make me think of my kids, it's ridiculous. Oh my God. When I get back, every day that I've been away from my little girl, she gets a shell. And I'll tell her that mummy's never leaving her ever again. I don't ever put anybody else above me or my children. I'm a self-employed dental nurse. No one pays my mortgage, no one pays my bills or feeds my children. But last year, I made just over £12,100. So on the island, that money, if I find it, it's going to do an amazing thing for me and my family. <laughs> I think we should start, just come clean now and say, listen, we found some money. No. I think we should wait on it. I'm not ready to come out and tell people that I found money yet because, being honest, I won't want to split my money between everybody. So I'm going to sit on it for a while and then think about my options. I want to do it in my own time. Congratulations anyway, mate. Cheers, buddy. Yesterday's revelation has prompted Ben to call a morning meeting. We just ask as well, anyone who does find any money, instead of keeping it any secrets or anything like that, come like that, let the camp know, so at least we know what else is out there. Right, I've got a confession. You've got some. You've bloody got some. I found five. You, you found five all on your own? Yeah. And it was hard to get, and I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what to tell and say or anything like that, so I just thought I'll keep it to myself. Good job, Lisa. Who was you with? You couldn't have been by yourself, but you were for coconuts. I went out with Emily. You were out with Emily? Yeah, I was going to say, but we, we, had, we did split off. We split off. off because I went out to go and look for coconuts, and I was on my own. Did you know that she found No. Emily is playing a very interesting game by not divulging the fact that she has the money because Kat was with them when they found the money. All's fun in love and war. Uh, what do you, you, you're happier now, Jim? Oh, you got a bit of a smile, so he's cool. I'm looking to see if I can find the lizards which come out to warm up in the sun. The thing is that they're the same colour and they're hard to spot. Nothing there. 75-year-old Irene is combing the beach for any sign of food until she's distracted. Just look at that Marco and that body of his. Wow, he's a hunk. My friends are going to be so envious that I spent my time on the island with Marco. He's absolutely beautiful. Honestly, it's such a feast for my old eyes. All muscle. And he's so handsome. He's just lovely. And a good day. Fantastic, yeah. Absolutely great. Mm, I'm getting used to winkles now. I've never eaten them. I've never eaten them before. They're quite nice. Hi. A nice handy for them. Irene, you hussy. I can get used to eating them at home, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And I know you secretly, you've been after him. You've been going on about how good looking he is. Look, the hand's gone on the knee. <gasps> is she ha Does this woman have no shame? Look at that! She's putting her bum in front of him now. Oh, my God. Look at Marco, he doesn't know quite what to do with himself. No, but hang on a minute, Irene. Hang on a minute, you. 
Little hussy. Little hussy. Irene. Ooh. Now, come on, you must admit he is rather oh, dishy. Kind of Trial and error, just got to keep trying. I remember, just keep positive. Energised by the calories from yesterday's stingray catch, Jack and Cat decide to go hunting. At the end of the day, this is a survival situation. The money can't buy us anything that we actually need right now. Oh, got a boat here. Oh, my God, yes. Look at this bad boy. Come on. Oh, my God. It's a free boat. A couple of holes. I mean, it's no P&O, but could do the job, could get us a decent amount of food. Yeah, I mean, if we took this back to camp, it would mean a hell of a lot, you know? We can do all our fishing now, out in deep water for big fish. This is perfect. Can we get this back? It's definitely worth a try. We're going to love it, yeah? Yeah. All right, come on, let's go. Let's walk it around, yeah? Three, two, one. Jack and Kat are planning to walk the boat back to camp around a rocky headland. Go cat, baby. This is all right, isn't it? I'd rather be doing this than rat race around the island looking for money any day. Woo. Shit, it's getting choppy. Having cleared the headland, Cat and Jack are left exposed to the Pacific strong tidal currents. Oh. Cat? Jack! Go there, go out. No. Having salvaged a boat, Jack and Cat have become caught in strong tidal currents. That's it, well done. Well done. Well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Well, let's get away from the rocks. Let's get away from the rocks. Let's paddle out a bit. Let's go. Right, rhythm. Yeah? Paddle. Yeah. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! The other way. What? That was key work. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Yes! That was dodgy. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of, you know, near-death experience to get you flipping your blood pressure up, is there? I'm so hungry. So we're just trying all angles to get food at the end of the day, and this is one of them. And now we can go fishing! I'm delighted. And if this can start to just bring in food on a regular basis, wow, how good will we feel? Right, boat corking. We know that the canoe that they've rescued is a little bit on a religious side. It's very holy. So I'm going to make some plugs for that. We'll try and keep the whole water tight. Get in there, you fucker. While the islanders wait for Jim to fix the boat... And we're off crabbing. ..the hunt for food continues. OK, bye-bye. Irene is just an amazing woman. She's 75 years of age, but... Bless her, she's trying her best. Here we have the killer granny. She tilts her head, cocks an ear. She wouldn't hesitate to kill in one fell swoop. You know, I can't go away into the jungle. It's too stifling. But by having to just came and been this old person sat about, that's not happened. 
Right, your little bitch. I'm here. My supper. Irene. She's been a lifeline. We would be just passed out by now if it hadn't been for steady supply of grub. Well done. Irene, honestly, you know, you have not stopped. And I really appreciate it. Killer Granny. I'm the Killer Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know where Panama was? No, I thought it was a war-torn area in the Middle East. Do you know what it reminds me of? That Channel 4 program? No, was it Channel 4 or BBC One? Oh, Panama. Panama. Panam yeah, that yeah. really serious program that always has really bad news. Something like Panama. Sounds like Panama. Do you mean Panorama? That's it. Panorama. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. Panorama. <laughs> Right, let's go. See you later, guys. Good luck. Hoping to provide the group with another big meal, Jack leads a hunting expedition into the island's interior. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Right, happy hunting. We're going to go right into where no one's ever been before. Jack? You right, Kat? Yeah. It's weird, like, I haven't seen one wild bit of wildlife in here. No birds, no iguanas, no snakes. Not even they like being in here, then. Down there, it's very open. There's a dried riverbed. Uh, pretty much goat territory, in my opinion. What's goat territory to you? Goat territory, to me, is just an open area with a possible water source. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a good suspicion. <laughs> have, I got, have you ever got your loss before? Yes, me. Yeah, it's OK. Right. <laughs> look, look at the size of that bastard bee. I'm going to have to cut across because there's a bee hive there. Most types of bees on the island are harmless, but if their hive is disturbed, they can become highly aggressive. Oh, my God. Fuck. Ah! Fuck. Ugh. Did it sting you? Yeah. Oh. Fuck. My bricks, they'll keep coming. Ah! No. Oh, shit. I'm all right. Oh, it just hurts, that's all. You all right, Kat? Yeah, all right. I don't think it's any good for fishing. Right, it isn't any good for fishing because it's shredded. Back at camp, Morag is discussing her money strategy with Ivor. I feel like licking stuff now. Do you? Yeah, I am look. If you can't use your brawn, you have to use your brain. OK. It's all in the rules, because in the rules of this game, you can, you can mug people and take their rucksack. I wouldn't quite go as low as nicking it out of rucksacks, but nicking it out of secret stashes, I wouldn't be averse to. I like Mo. Don't like her politics, but that's beside the point. She's a good laugh and actually thoroughly good egg. There's no chance I'll find your stash. Not in a million years. Either. He has become very important to me on this island. And whatever our differences, I love him dearly for that. Well, so you've hidden yours in the jungle? Yeah. Have you? It's well hidden. Hand on heart, I know you. You would never <laughs> find it in a million years. <laughs> Not a snail's <laughs> chance that you're going to find it. So oh, I know so I'm sorry from you. <laughs> you're so cruel, Ivor. <laughs> Manu? Yeah? It's just a lot of energy being burnt, this, isn't it? I'm not going to catch a guy. Jack's hunting party have been in the dense jungle interior for over four hours. Totally knackered. Got them on empty. I feel like lead. Are we doing some more or are we going to call it a day? Oh, my God. 
Money! I found money! I found the box! No way! Yeah. Come on! Yes, Ben! Oh, my God! Get me up, lift me up. Amazing! Go on, Ben, get your hands on it, mate. Don't let go. Yes, yes Ben! Yes, baby! Come on! Oh, my God! Open that bad boy up, mini boy! Let's see what we've got in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten! Oh, so we all know we're at least walking off this island with something. Yes, that's it. it. Yeah, that's good. good. You know, well done, team. Hands well in. Hands in. Well done. One, two, three, team chat. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. It is for everyone. It is always going to be to share. Ten Gs, baby. Woo! Oh, look what he's got. Oh, he oh, he's got a parachute. Oh, my God! They found a box. We've got 10 grand. <laughs> you guys are getting looked after. We're going to London, Irene. We're going to London. So <laughs> much. Oh. We're going to London. You've got a grand. Are you happy? Yes, I'm not going home without the money. No. It's all getting this year. Don't have made it clear how good I feel that they're not expecting me to go into that jungle and to still give me a share of the money. I'm just so humbled by that. It's lovely. I think that is just brilliant. It restores my faith in our humanity. The group plan to share their cash with the islanders, who they believe haven't found any yet, including Emily. Let's just all enjoy it, though, yeah? Whatever. Yeah. That does leave me with a bit of a predicament, because I've also got money. It's not fair on the group, so I do want to come clean to the group, but it's just how clean I come to them. Emily. She's there laughing and, and joking with everyone, yet she's lying to everyone. So what's been going on, boys? Oh, all sorts of things. What, what's, what have I missed? She's behind us. Emily found her with Elisa. What? Just tell them what. Oh. Well, what's happening? Tell me. When they saw their money, Cat they was with Cat. What they were, it was her, Emily and Cat. Yes. And they found it and they didn't share with Cat. Exactly. That is a nice... I can't believe it. Whoa! I feel kind of guilty about that, but the cat is amongst the pigeons now. <laughs> So that's going to be interesting when that comes out and will probably make us look a little bit better. No one else knows. Nearly the end. I, I need to take a think about this. I need to have a big thing. Mo, listen, slap what? drop for me. After the group's recent money discovery, Morale in camp is high. OK, here we go, slut drop. <laughs> she gets stuck. Come on, get up. <laughs> slut drop. Get Irene to do one. Irene. Stand there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You have to go down like that. And then up again. Yeah. Oh, that was so graceful. Wasn't it? <laughs> Oh, you've got some hip movement in you there. Flipping hell, that ain't no more bright as there, is there? Go on, girl. Oh, my God. I think this boat's all right. Oh, my God, this is deep. With the boat repaired, Jack and Cat take to the water. Come on, God, man, if there, if there is God, you know, just give us a bit of luck. They are hoping deeper waters will provide the group with their next meal. I'm hungry. How do we get a big fish on here, Cat? I'm so hungry. Who would you say you get on with the most here, Cat? You, Ben, uh, and Emily. I talk to her the most. Yeah. Cat feels that we should have all been sharing all the money from the start. So to know that Emily and Liz found money when they were with Cat and they hid it from Cat. That needs to be spoken about, because it's not fair. There's nothing here. Should we make our way in? Yeah. Yeah, let's make our way in. We're not eating tonight. Oh. 
Everybody's suit good. It's lovely, yeah, Irene. Absolutely. Is there any croutons? Did you get some? Yeah. Let me see. I have, I promise, I promise I'll get some. Right, guys, is everyone here? Yeah, yeah we're all here. What's, what's, what's going on here? Can I'm hearing this, this, and like everything's gone a bit mad. People going off, not telling people where that they've found money and little sneaky moves happening here. It's just not on and I'm not going to have it. Bliss, who did you find the money with? Emily. I came out with it and Emily didn't want to. And now it's her business what she says. Emily, why did you not tell us? Because what it was was the, like for me, for me personally, this isn't enough money to split. So I'm not going to sit here and say, do you know what? I'd love to share it with all of you. So, so you two have found five thousand or ten thousand? We found ten thousand. We split right, and it. And you split it? Yeah. No, no problem. Who was you with when you found it was me the and money? Emily? Do you remember the morning we went? Just off you and Emily. I was under the impression that you found it while you were with Cat. What? 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 Wait, what? I've heard it as well. I've heard that I've heard that you three were together when you when when the money was found. So what you so wait, can we just rewind? What, was I there? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. You were at the other end of the beach to be there. Yeah, we were... no, but Kat was there in your she presence. Wasn't, she wasn't. She wasn't. She was up at the other end of the beach. She was, she's... What I mean is, Kat, when you went out, yeah. you went out as a three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I don't think that's fair, guys. Do you know what? It's all well and good to get on your high horse now, but you don't know what you would do until you're in that position. I mean, I've spent how long with you, Emily? Like, you know, telling you about my stuff at home? I'll come out and I'll say it now, OK? So let me just take take the stage. Money means different things for different people. And to be fair, out of everybody, I'm probably the less paid one here with the most outgoings with my family and my kids. Do you know what I mean? Fuck the money, mate. Just don't want to be lied to. What is just hurtful for me is that all that time we were getting to know each other. She fleeced me. I'm just a naive, ignorant fool. I'm not feeling guilty about the way I found my money, but the be all and end all is that I shouldn't have lied. I really shouldn't have. Last night I was ready just to bugger off, go to another beach. Mate, if you do, fucking hell, <laughs> mate, I'm with you. We don't need this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Inherently, Jack was right to bring everything out yesterday, but there's, a, there's an awkward feeling in the air now. Deep shame. It's the morning after the night before. I'm not guilty about the way that I found it. I'm not guilty about that at all. I'm just not, because it's going to the people that I love the most and the people that I care about. So how are you feeling this morning? Well, I... I just go out and look for his flipping money. Did you share it with me if you found it? No. no. Kat doesn't want to share with Emily. Emily and Alyssa never shared with Kat. I think any idea of sharing everything out equally has completely gone out the window. It is a nice idea, but seems like that's not what everyone wants to do, so what will be, will be. I've seen what Doe does to people. I've seen what Doe does to marriages to partnerships, it can end up in grief, all right? There's a, a distinct air hanging now where it needs clearing, you know? Right, well, there's been a shitload of gum flapping about this money. There's been agreements, broken agreements, side agreements, left, up, down, right agreements. After last night's fallout, Jim takes it upon himself to act as camp mediator. Now, it's simple. Get the money, buy it, go buy crook, whatever you've got on you, whatever, 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 and on the last night, ask yourself, do you want to keep it or do you want to share it? And if you've got your big pile of money, you go, mm, I'm taking it all, then that's your prerogative, that is your right. If you decide, well, I'll tell you what, there, 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 that is your prerogative, that is your right. So, that's it. Right, we're in business, mediation done, I resign. Thank you. <laughs> Brilliant.
it's We're back music to our ears. Rather than everyone gets the same amount of money, regardless yeah. of their ability, their talent, and their input, yeah. it's now exactly what we've been saying. This is getting exciting. Fucking ants! Oh, they're all over me! This island's a bitch. Oh, my God. We are starving now. I'm just growing weaker and weaker. Ah. This money has messed everyone up. There's always haves and there's always have-nots, and that's life. Toss that fucking helicopter. Oh, God, he's just left it. Ah. Drop it! 